I cannot use another profile than HDR. And it's a strange thing. The standard mode, it's not, it's not bad, but it misses the color accuracy. Sincerely, I don't like how the, the projector, it's... I think the yellow colors are too powerful or something. At the first scene, you see the table. I will get in touch this evening with ViewSonic and hope that they will solve the problem. Hello guys, how are you? We got another amazing video for you. This is a full review to a new projector, video projector. This time I thought to upgrade to a new projector, a laser video projector, also from ViewSonic. You know we publish a lot of videos. We have over 400 videos, 400 uh, weekly shows that uh, we present a lot of electronics and a lot of ideas here on uh, our channel. I don't like to say to myself that I'm an influencer. I don't like this word because there are a lot of small time garbage influencers on YouTube without a faculty and it's not necessary to have a, a, a faculty but you got to have education to know what you are talking about. You got to make yourself a research about a product, about an electronic, about every product you present on all other domains than electronics and I don't like that everyone calls themselves digital creator you saw on YouTube everyone is digital creator everyone it's an influencer for me a professional in this domain will be a person who does uh, his research about the product who has a lot of experience under their uh, back and uh, here is the main point, uh, the base of these presentations. You have, you got to have a lot of experience. You got to work physically to be objective, not subjective. You got to work a lot with the products. I'm telling you this because a person who grabs a camera goes online and teaches others a bunch of garbage in which they don't know nothing. And they misguide those people thinking, Oh, uh, if it does, let's say, a workshop and if they are on YouTube, they are professionals. No, this is not the idea. Be careful and I uh, rise uh, exclamation mark. So I hope on this platform, YouTube will make a difference between professionals and, let's say, amateurs. Guys, I'm not seeing someone at the beginning of the road uh, not to do this, but there are a lot of people that don't know anything and they just start learning and you cannot learn someone else if you are don't know the basics in any industry so after you get yourself some know-how with work with experience you can talk but if you are not able to tie your own shoelaces don't teach others to do it guys let's see i unsealed the first box but here we have the projector, we have the Beast, the new 24, it was released at the end of the uh, 2023, it's a 2024 model, let's say, and uh, I'm telling you that this projector will make your day. It's laser, it's made for Xbox, it has 3500 lumens, it's a 4k projector and i'm very curious of the quality i didn't test it and uh, talking about this we will compare it to the px748 which you know we review it and that one was a good projector it has its cons after two years you saw the video we just published uh, two years of the uh, view sony px748 and um, uh, i was not happy with it 
So very short guys, with that projector we had three problems updating the firmware. We have some chromatic aberrations that were very big. I think this is a common problem to the PX748. For those of you who have, send it to the warranty, do not stay. The PX748, it's a LAMP based projector. It has some problems at the LAMP and guys, I want to tell you from the start, a LAMP projector has 4000 locks. For example, 748 was having 4000 locks, but from 4000 locks you will have after 1000 hours of usage at the lamp projectors all the lamp projectors after 1000 hours of usage you will have a lack of 500 between 500 and 700 minus locks so for example ever the 748 from 4000 locks you will have it will remain after 1000 hours of usage 300 uh, 3300 locks remaining and it will diminish while the lamp it will consume herself so besides the chromatic aberrations and uh, you will have the cons to a lamp projector it starts very hard you have to stay one minute it uh, goes to standby also one minute to for the cooler inside to uh, cool down all the electronics and the lamp before turning completely off and the uh, px748 had the chromatic aberrations that i didn't like that the black colors was were not black were brown like uh, you saw in our review and i recommend you to watch the full review another thing that i didn't like is that viewsonic told on their website that you can make the firmware by yourself and uh, you can't make on the 748 this is not nice of you sonic saying on the page of that product that you can make your firmware by yourself and you have to send the projector to the service center this is not very good also guys it made a flickering a flickering of the image that i don't understand at the 4000 hours i send it three times and then i figure out let's upgrade it i don't want it anymore i get in touch with the view sonic and i ask them to send us a product and the view sonic romania thanks that uh, that the review have 28000 views or 30000 something and they thought they asked me for a link before to see the views but at the all the projectors that you see all over the world that are not a lot of views and uh, view sonic after they saw the views that are not small but are not quite high they didn't want to send us a projector a person who knows marketing knows that persons who bought a projector are not that high are not that many the persons who bought a projector because projectors are expensive most of the people buy tvs and projectors are for people who have money to spend to have large displays so guys let's make the unboxing we'll talk a lot a lot of uh, things in our reviews and with our projectors take yourself a big cup of coffee guys because these are true reviews okay and uh, you'll see the unboxing is necessary because there are a lot of features into the unboxing a lot of stuff and i will tell you why uh, an unboxing is necessary okay we have two cables power cables we have an ad oh we have a big adapter i don't know where i will put this adapter on the wall it's a converter from 19.5 volts at 9.23 amps oh it's big it consumes 180 watts this projector this is why we make these full reviews and long reviews for you to know what you are buying and what you expect of that product and i'm telling you this also and i hope you sonic will see all the uh, people clients will search youtube first time for a projector see how is that projector and then will buy it and for the px748 there was a lot of people that say even in comments were transparent and 
told us that they bought the projector and it's good and we did uh, free that projector we bought also this projector is bought by uh, by us we are impartial in our presentation we don't take side with viewsonics or other manufacturers we take side with the truth because this is my believing in life uh, you will not do nothing if you are taking sides with the manufacturer i ask youtube to make this also with samsung you know uh, you will see that uh, in time in time influencer who is bad who is taking sides with that manufacturer and talks only good with for their products and recommend you all the products no we say the truth if a product has 40 something or it has cons we'll tell you the cons if a product is good we'll say the if it's good or not let's continue guys the remote control the remote control is uh, i hope it's a little bit illuminated that the old one at the px748 because it has an illumination that break your eye i'm very interested i hope i will not use this remote control i hope i will use the receiver remote control to turn on the projector turn off because it has er hmm? it has a lot of function let's take it out guys let's see easy like let's take the beast out i didn't show you the box but it's not that interesting except the fact that it's in collaboration with xbox with xbox and they made this collaboration for the for the compatibility between the xbox and this projector to take the frame rate perfectly and have you have a motion flow of the picture perfect we have some batteries here for the remote control some specifications dlp it says lx 700 dlp projector i don't know if it has 3d but also that uh, the lamp projectors had dlp chip inside i don't know but uh, on the remote control we'll get to that to the remote control but i don't see a 3d button on the remote control not anymore so here is the beast guys here it is the lx 700 from viewsonic the 4k hdr projector and on the design i see the, the plastic it's a good strong plastic it has one fan one single fan i can see that the build quality is good we have here this sensor remote sensor straight ahead guys you can see it's beautiful but it's taller than the other projector this projector also why is good to check out our reviews has 1.36 optical zoom so it's a lot of zoom if you can see here we have a lot of zoom guys and the optical zoom it's very important to a projector for those of you who buy themselves first time a projector and they want a high quality projector well check out our videos the build quality and the construction is very solid we can view our gaming features for xbox here is the sensor the lens of the projector so here is the focus and here is the zoom here we have the buttons that you can change the vertical shift the position of your image your source menu close and open the projector this is an interesting thing for you know the remote controls don't work or don't get the signal right to the front of the projector so this view sony has another sensor right here orientated to capture uh, from any angle into the room the signal of your remote control interesting here you have the dedicated port hdmi on one with hdcp 2.2 uh, and here it's the arc this is the connector guys for those of you who have the um, electronic uh, screen projector screen that will retract 
automatically. This one will activate and deactivate that uh, electronic screen. We have a service port here, HDMI, that I think will give 1.5 amps. It's also good. We have a 12 volt trigger also for this 12 volt trigger with jack is also for the receivers who support it. They are receivers who will support and open and close the receiver with the remote controls of the projectors okay the audio out is this one and you have a local mechanism here now guys this is why it's our reviews are important no one shows this mounting bracket projectors who are heavy and this one it's a little bit of heavy have three points this one requires special mounting mechanism like this one who you will put it with free i don't know over here how you can and into the middle you will mount it with a special uh, this is a part only a part of the system for mounting and you will place it here on the projector and set it up like you want you see we you can adjust the position from every uh, screw you have three adjusting screws here three positions it's very interesting depending on your level surface you can put it even on a table but i recommend to put it directly on the wall i didn't tell you something i told you in the beginning of this review that it has only one fan on uh, this side but also it has a small fan here very small uh, the noise of the projector i got to tell you that it's very low comparing to uh, a lamp projector because it doesn't require to uh, cool down like a lamp projector this one has 180 watts a lamp projector has 240 watts at the px748 i really don't understand why manufacturers do not mount silent fans they are silent fans with good airflow and i don't really know why they don't mount these fans are aren't expensive let's continue guys and let's talk with the specs of this projector we have the optimized gameplay with 1440 p resolution at 120 hertz refresh rate so this is why it's important that port that we show on to the back of the uh, this projector who is in the collaboration with xbox it has 3500 uh, lumens lumens that are keep continuously on the entire lamp live on lasers i will tell you even as a professional photographer how is the picture quality uh, i have an eye for this i'm uh, uh, filming over 18 years now so i think the uh, this 3000 lumens versus the 3000 lumens to a lamp projector will be higher i don't know why i'm saying this i didn't test it but in my research and uh, uh, informations uh, i hope i will be right i think these lumens will be higher at the brightness of the image and you can use it this projector even in bright uh, rooms uh, we'll see we'll see when we'll get to the chapter of um, testing it i will tell you the differences you can make screens uh, up to three hundred inch you can control your projector so this projector can control according to view sonic with your xbox controller with your voice i don't know how you can do this but it appears that you can use your xbox controller to control it with your voice i don't know exactly how what do you have to control you will make all the settings realistically talking yeah you will do all the settings to the projector and <laughs> uh, turn it on and turn it off all the users look for the video quality the large image the video quality the quality of the image and that's it it has 4.2 milliseconds rapid fire input with 240 hertz refresh rate and you can stream uh, in cinematic 4k hdr resolution 
The resolution is 3840 by 2160. You know the 4K resolution, the basic 4K resolution. The flow ratio is 1.06 to 1.45. The keystone you have vertical plus minus 30 degrees and horizontal plus minus 40 degrees. The lens is interesting. It has more 06. So this one has 1.36x manual optic zoom uh, uh, comparing to PX748 that has 1.30. But it's both of them are good. The light source in normal it has 20,000 hours. The light source life in dynamic mode, echo dynamic echo mode has 30,000 hours. I hope this one will be 30,000 hours because you know in the lamp are not like this. You, the manufacturer saying the ideal conditions lab testing it. But in normal life you have to cut some of that hours. I hope this uh, laser will be is, is different but I hope in the lamp life will be as accurate and will not, you will not have problems uh, like I told you in the 4000 hours, I had problems with flickering in the 748, in the PX748. The color deep is 1.05 billion colors. So we have a comparison of Optoma lamp projector with Vixonic lamp projector. You can check out on our videos that Optoma says it has 1 million, 2 million, 3 million ratio contrast. And the ViewSonic says the truth and they tell us 12,000 or 50,000 contrast ratio. You realize that it's not possible. Some manufacturers uh, like to exaggerate over the limit, you know, with the, this dynamic contrast ratio. So the port, I told you the USB type uh, 2.0, you can put a Chromecast into the back. You can put a Chromecast or you can put a dongle to stream directly from your phone. It has this USB that you can use it uh, until 1.5 amps that I think it's enough. It consumes 180 watts that is very good. It's instantly uh, on off. And this is also good. Standby 0.5 watts power consumption which is good the temperature is between 0 and 40 degrees guys be careful where you use it and it's prefer do not use it outside it will get a lot of i took some projectors outside and it took guys a lot of dust the net weight is 3.3 kilograms the gross weight is 4.7 kilograms the dimensions are 286 millimeters by 260 by 129 millimeters. The warranty of ViewSonic is three year limited warranty on parts and labor, one year limited warranty on the light source or the lamp, and one year free express exchange service. I don't know exactly what this is. One year express exchange service required product registration i think it will give us a one extra year if you register your product on the viewsonic i look forward for this i didn't tell you the 4k has 60 hertz refresh rate at the resolution 1440p it's 120 hertz and at the resolution 1080p it has 240 hertz please notice this now i will put directly to the wall guys i will not stay much longer and will turn on the projector and talk further so guys let's talk about mounting the projector into your room so i mounted exactly at the distance at the half distance into the middle i have in this room four by five meters so 20 meters are available uh mount yourself the projector exactly into the middle to have the main hole so i want to show you here i mounted exactly into the middle and the range every support can arrange the width the four you have four brackets with that four brackets you can arrange and you can mount the brackets to fit the one pin exactly to the middle 
to be into the middle, the center of uh, gravitation, to be exactly on the middle of the projector. Do not put it, you, you see this projector has in this side the free screws, but you must put it not on the right side, exactly to the middle, to distribute the weight on to the middle. Okay, I didn't put this adapter, power adapter, has a bracket also, a support or a mounting system to the projector. We only think about this. I didn't put it because it doesn't uh, get quite well into my support, into my custom support on the wall. But for now it's good. Uh, please do not mount your projector. Do not mount it near to the air conditioner or a heater. Leave the projector uh, at least a couple of meters of uh, heating source, cooling source. Another problem I encounter, you see, this connector is different. So I had to cut the cables and put the custom connector of UK directly to the projector. As I will make the repairments to the wall, I will do it later. But for now, let's start the projector. And uh, I uh, got to say it's looking aggressive, good, big. It's very big. I wish it would be a little bit smaller, but because it's white and it integrates with the cool color of the wall, it's good. I think it's good. So I managed to fit the transformer or the adapter, power adapter, right, right there. If you see here, I have the 2.0 the ultra hdmi you see big it's a very very big cable for this hdmi because it's a must for ultra hdmi if i'm saying right it has 18 giga per second information transfer so it's a big deal for the hdr at 120 hertz at 4k you must use minimum uh, 2.0, 2.1, I think, ultra HDMI cables. So be aware of this. This is another trick. So now, guys, the remote empowering one. The remote control has is uh, illuminated. It has the power button. Now it's separately the off button. It has uh, a zoom, the zoom in, zoom out of the picture the AV mode, audio video, you can disable it, you can disable the audio video mode, the brightness, you can control it directly from the remote control, the contrast also, the display mode, you can uh, see the user profile, but uh, I want to show you uh, immediately after we turn on the projector, some bug, I think, I don't know exactly what this projector has. We have the image adjustment, vertical synchronization, the aspect ratio, the here is the auto and the standard standard mode. You'll see something new into the menu, but we will do the menu of this projector. First, I want I wanted to show you the remote control. The mute button, the volume button and the navigation, enter and the menu and exit here. Here we have the sources, both sources, uh, to for you to select. Okay, so now let's turn on the projector and see how much time it needs for the image to load. So before turning on, I want to tell you that it's connected to my Denon S960H, the 8K receiver that will run now 4K because this projector is 4K. And I have a gaming notebook that sends the signal to the uh, Denon and the Denon to the projector. So now let's turn it on. Now it's starting. It's flashing a blue LED, right? We have a big uh, fan noise and we have image. I don't know, it may be eight seconds to start. Uh, which is pretty awesome. So guys, let's see the menu of this projector. I put another source, I put the TV toner. Here you can put the bright, the cinema, which I think it's looking the most uh, 
the greatest the cinema the display mode the gaming you see the srgb and the user also the colors are oversaturated maybe they will put another firmware uh, and make the colors more accurate because now i think they are a little bit saturated even in standard mode color of the skin i don't like the color of the skin maybe the view sonic will make this and i appeal to view sonic to put the firmware on their website come on okay into the image settings we have another things here the brightness the contrast we have the sharpness and game mod that i see you have to you can click as you need to see the black levels here I think the yellow colors are too powerful or something at the first scene you see the table the furniture and the menu it runs out of time very rapidly color matching you see you can make also in uh, the color matching you can make adjustments color space this is constant power of 100 percent this is echo so this is uh constant power echo and dynamic black which is a little bit dark but i can hear the fan working as the standard brightness mode at the constant power it's at full power and the visibility and the all the the light it's good is very good but here we have percentage now we can modify to our needs 70 percent until 50 percent constant power so this is like a super echo mode if you like the echo i can see that it's uh, it's very good the echo mode at uh, even at visibility wherever you like it's a good mod okay 3d settings and i'm glad guys that we have a 3d mode here now i switch to the 3d mode it has the pixel technology the pixel shift to make the 4k you know the 4k projectors are very extreme expensive but manufacturers with this pixel shift they manage to somehow to uh make more pixels from using full hd upscaled let's say it's not a full hd it's better than full hd but it's not a native 4k this we this we got to say to people to know these aspects the keystone the, you can make the keystone like you need into this projector adjust according to your wall don't forget to put your projector guys uh, onto your ceiling measure it good and make a hole exactly to the middle point this is what i'm telling you the projector also must uh, the support of the projector must be into the middle of projector not to have uh, other problems to the wall if i put the keystone the vertical keystone to free and this is okay i think okay the audio man i don't i don't use it uh, for the built-in uh, speaker of the this projector you realize this projector is not for taking to conferences this projector is uh, you will put a stable in your house and this is it this is the projection uh, guys uh, image upside down uh, you know the projection you can choose how you can uh, you wanted to put uh, on your wall on, on your table or on the side walls the power uh, here to the power after we present the menu we will come back and i will tell you about the hdmi cac and the other stuff to automatically turn on and off this projector we have security you can put a password from your kids for example you can put a password not to be induced hdmi link this is another option that will automatically turn uh, your receiver and uh, your uh, both of them the projector and the receiver test pattern it's for you to calibrate on your wall 
uh, you have some dot, you have some lines, um, and uh, sincerely, if I'm looking at these lines, maybe it's me, but I can sense the rainbow effect. Rainbow, not rainbow. <laughs> okay, the rainbow effect. Okay, let's see. We have the part and the grid, the a lot of white. You see how powerful the white is? If you are seeing, is more pure white on this arrow here than there. There it's a little bit, small bit dark. And I can see at in the middle here, it's uh, like uh, it has a powerful, it's more powerful and yellowish into the corner is small bluish this zone here and the test card of ViewSonic to see the focus point and to calibrate it. And another thing comparing to the PX748 guys, the 748 in the couple of weeks it uh, autumn, I don't know how it can be like this, defocalized on the wall. Maybe when you turn it on and turn it off, something it moved the mechanism there and small defocalize the image, not hard. I'm telling you small differences in the focus. I had to recalibrate it into the options. We have the language, high altitude mode. Guys, use this function if you are into the mountain and the air is rarefied. The altitude mode will uh, ignite the fan uh, and will give more air and oxygen to, to the projector. Auto source, I leave it to, I recommend you to leave it on to auto search. Keypad lock, I really don't know what is this. Keypad lock, a P keypad lock, no, not now. The default logo neutral, uh, the first uh, seeing logo when the projector will start. Here you can reset to default values and uh, other stuff. I reset the projector to see if it disappears with HDR. Now we see here the resolution, the HDMI, the refresh rate and how many hours I use it uh, since I have start this projector. And the firmware version is C02, meaning that this is the second version and the 3D it's activated and I'm glad that the 3D activated and put the 3D mode because we are, uh, some of us like to watch 3D movies. I hope uh, into the near future will bring the manufacturers the 4K 3D. So this is the menu guys. It's, um, if you ask me, it's a little bit strange and old you this menu but it it, it works okay uh, I cannot complain from the menu because how much you will stay into the uh, projectors menu you will set it up once and that's it into the display settings we have ultra fast input and this input guys is for gamers let's activate it uh, you will lose the keystone you will lose a lot of features but you will gain a uh, high frame rate here. The Denon shows me 4K 60 frames per second and the ultra input mode works only at 60 frames per second and the 30 frame it will automatically switch if you see we are in standard dynamic range. The projectors also see that we are in HDR mode. The HDR is not but we are in 4K 60 frames per second now guys this is the picture and i calibrate it like i'm seeing it with my eyes the picture is very bright is very is very powerful this projector into the light the first thing that i see is that the colors are very powerful very saturated heights are very boosted the shadows no not the shadows are not boosted the colors are very boosted because I am seeing that the projector is in HDR mode. Something strange now. I don't know exactly what is the deal. I pushed onto the remote control the display mode and the HDR is the only mode 
I'm having that I can use and I sincerely don't know what is the deal. I hope this will not be a bug and uh, because I saw the firmware has been updated to the second version. I'm aware that the projector is not being set up, but uh, this should not be into the image uh, settings the problem. I cannot use another profile than HDR and it's a, it's a strange thing that uh, HDR it's automatically activated. I don't know exactly why it's activated because in the windows I didn't activate the HDR mode. This is the problem. If you are seeing here play HDR games and application it's off. I have inserted the HDMI cable from the projector into my notebook and it's the same thing. So the uh, the Denon receiver doesn't make this kind of problem. I try to find another firmware because it's uh, the icons are not showing. It's like burned. The image is like burned, and sincerely, I don't like the quality of the image. But I think, to be fair to ViewSonic, I think it's just a bug from uh, the firmware. I hope ViewSonic is not crazy this time to send again the projector to the service center because it's not okay i didn't saw on those on the viewsonic page at the downloads you will not find to make yourself the firmware and i don't know exactly why guys is this a uh, problem but uh, if i will uh, uh, find out of course i will make a video explaining you what to do so guys if i put another source for example i have a tv tuner by hdmi and strangely it works uh, if i'm pushing the display mode the display mode i can use the cinema the bright the standard uh, standard colors you see are okay i cannot put your tv because i get i will get a copyright strike let me put a channel a hd channel of ours maybe i will not uh, have a copyright strike and um, the co the colors are good and are maybe oversaturated the, the colors are a little bit of uh, bluish and more to yellow the blue is very powerful and uh, it's a little bit of yellow but you can set up from the menu now guys let me show you I put another notebook the Samsung 12 inch tablet that uh, it's with a dongle somehow that it's connected USB-C to a HDMI out device in 4K and I got to tell you that the image now it's good Oof, it's not HDR I was struggling to get the HDR on other projectors and now I cannot switch the HDR off and uh, the projector doesn't let me on my uh, Lenovo gaming book I don't know exactly what is the deal but I'm sure it's a matter of firmware that the uh, ViewSonic will manage. Now, if you see, we have all the gaming, the displaying profile, the display mode, color profiles. We can put in standard that I think it's a little bit of uh, yellowish, bright, it's uh, more to green. The cinema, I think the cinema, it's the best profile for this projector. ViewSonic must uh, take into the account that they must recalibrate it into a firmware. I have a light in the room now. I have a LED lamp and the colors are amazing, I got to tell you. Are so good the colors uh, to this uh, man are so good the colors but it must be calibrated all, all the way from uh, ViewSonic on a profile on the standard profile must be calibrated if the users want uh, something else they can uh, calibrate it more I don't feel in this C02 this is the firmware C02 the users on the forum talk about of uh, maybe C00 C01 the previous versions now guys uh, I think it's not that calibrated okay it's uh, beautiful the picture quality is beautiful the 4k looks good the skin tones are looking 
are looking a little bit too, too, too orange, in my opinion. This is why I'm telling uh, ViewSonic they have to calibrate this uh, this projector. This. So now, guys, I found a, a movie that is not HDR, and I got to say, skin colors are looking a little bit to uh, yellow to orange to yellow to orange in my opinion the standard mode it's not it's not bad but it misses the color accuracy the colors are very important it has the clarity has the clarity has the light and it misses the colors so now guys we are in the hdr mode we activate it into the display and this you must do this before watching every HDR movie. Play HDR games and applications, you must enable it. Disabled, uh, you will see powerful contrast over saturated colors, so this is not okay. Uh, enabling this, it's a little bit, the colors are a little bit washed up, but it will compensate with the player. We have some Samsung demo in true hdr and i believe that the colors and the light and the shadows the highlights are just perfect look at the sound flower uh, it's it's a it's a good projector at the colors and the light too bad with this uh, small thing that uh, i think lenovo i just tested another uh, notebook near lenovo and it's the same is the same thing it uh, gives a signal that it's every time on HDR mode something strange it appears that I search a little bit the internet but I want to document myself more guys look at the colors I'm amazed I'm this is freaking brilliant the colors into the HDR mode are unbelievable and I think they are accurate now guys the 3D mode, yes, this projector has 3D mode. Buy yourself active glasses. One pair of glasses that it's active with buttons. Guys, before showing you the 3D mode, I got to tell you. Download Power DVD 17. For those of you who like 3D content, this is the player you want to have. Let's set it up before just a little bit. On the 3D display, put auto detect live exactly like this in the player go in audio to have the best audio possible then the hdmi for example i'm using a projector now and uh, you will see that pc me decoded by power dvd just switch to non-decoded high definition device to external to have to external device or and here on this tab just check the exclusive audio wasapi to have wasapi on uh, every time and be careful if you are clicking this will give the best audio possible but you won't uh, hear other sources from your windows the power dvd will take exclusive control of the sound and this is a good thing because when you watch a movie you don't need uh, to listen to music from that notebook man I got to tell you, this projector blew my mind at 3D. I watched some 3D content and it's freaking unbelievable. I didn't saw in my life a clear quality of the picture than this projector. It's 2 by uh, 2x full HD, the left display and the right display, the left eye and the right eye. And the quality, if you're giving ISO, put ISO, you see I have here avatar, I have ISO. If you are putting ISO, man, will be uh, the best quality you can give from a movie. Now, go to the display settings and make sure you have the 3D display on. Um, I don't think it matters to uh, so much for for some projectors it matters for some projectors will it don't matter if you are putting the uh, 3D uh, resolution it's 19 
20 by 1080 and then click this play 3D media in 3D. Click on the ISO and it's a must to give this message. So we clicked on that uh, uh, setting and now you are hit the 3D hardware only supports the 3D in full screen mode to view this in full screen mode. This is the best 3D viewing experience with this power DVD. I didn't find the other program better than this. We are in 3D mode. You cannot use anymore the mouse, you know, this. And uh, I see now the exactly the same notebook. Uh, we are in 3D. It's, you know, I have to say it's like watching 4K movies, but um, with deep of the field. This is all... Uh, the deep of the field is the most important thing on 3D. Well guys, I managed to automatically start the projector when I uh, activate my receiver. And with one remote control I can start the projector. But to close it, it doesn't work this way. I will show you first how it works. So this is the remote control of the receiver, the Denon. Okay. So let's push it, start, and now you will see a blue light there. And it automatically started the projector. Go into the setup. Now go into the video and to the HDMI setup. So now you will have, I don't know if you have pass through, but these are my settings. Take these settings. First, you must activate the arc function. If you don't have the, if you have the arc function, click it on. I clicked on the arc function and uh, the projector didn't send a signal to the and the receiver didn't send a signal to the projector. So I activate then the HDMI control that auto activates the arc function. Switch off the power saving. You don't want this because sometimes it will not automatically start your projector. And then guys, go at your projector and you will have here at HDMI CAC, put the HDMI link on and the Xbox mode, uh, it's okay because if you don't have receiver, this is only between the Xbox and the, uh, your video projector. So if you don't have a receiver, go to the HDMI CAC and click it, the Xbox mode on, put that on. Okay, now at the power settings, signal power on. When it sends a signal, it automatically start. I direct power on is when you plug it into your socket wall to turn automatically off the projector. Now guys, it's working if I will use the remote control of the projector, it will automatically turn off my receiver also. You heard the click, let me show you. Now the receiver is turned off. And the projector, it's also off. But uh, if I will uh, find out how to do it only from the remote control of the receiver, because I think it must be a way to do this. If I will uh, figure it out, I will publish another video. Until then, you have to use the remote control to start the receiver. The receiver starts the projector and to switch off if you are switching off your receiver, will not switch off your projector from the same remote control. If you are switching on the projector from the projector's remote control, it will not switch on your receiver. If you are switching off from this, the projector remote control, your projector will switch off the receiver. So I want a way that when I switch off my receiver and it's in signal mode, this is important because if you are listening to Bluetooth audio, 
Uh, I don't think Bluetooth audio must switch on your projector. Must not go and give a signal. But if you are switching a source like a TV, like a notebook, a gaming notebook, uh, well, it must, the receiver must switch on the projector and if you are closing your receiver, it must close and uh, turn off also your projector. So I will test furthermore and publish if I will find out. Okay, so we turn on the Xbox and we are not in the port of the Xbox, we are in the ARC port and uh, already the projector, the projector tell us to switch into the mode into the ultra fast input mode okay we switched and let's see now let's see another thing that i'm interested in is that is uh, let's see to the video hdmi setup and sorry at the video the signal format to put it to an enhanced so let's see to the enhanced video signal into the receiver so uh, okay <laughs> you see we have some improvements your supports UHDR to 60 Hertz 10 bits x 60 Hertz HDR 10 for gaming Dolby Vision I don't want Dolby Vision uh, okay let's see now 120 Hertz because I read something with that port, we can use the resolution, but I will move from HDMI 2 to the first HDMI to see. Nah. So the image, the laser, now you can feel it, it's kicking in. When you have this powerful image, like it's on the Forza Horizon Pottery, if I had a notebook, uh, that supports this projector or the uh, notebook that uh, now you see 2160 in uh, 4K HDR. It automatically took it. Let's see. Yes, we have 60 frames per second on the projector. So now for you guys, I switch to 60 frames per second because I want you to see exactly the frame rate uh too bad here it's uh let's go it's a snowy road but to make yourself an idea on 60 frames per second how can it look and move man too bad you cannot uh, control and the handling of the cars in forza horizon it's like it is now i have put it this uh, need for speed hit we are filming at 60 frames per second it doesn't move bad it doesn't move bad at all at 60 frames per second i think it has 60 frames per second let's see graphics it doesn't uh, tell me Yeah, it's okay. It's not like Forza Horizon, but it's uh, it's nice. It's looking good. It's fast. It's uh, for 4K content. You must have also a powerful notebook to to have it all. This one has a graphics card of uh, 1615 GTX from Nvidia and uh rather one card for integrated graphics we can say we can say lx 700 it's a gaming it's a gaming projector for gamers you can say this i think the games are best seeing uh, with this projector and movies why not uh, if they will fix the HDR problem with the firmware or something not to see all the way they have something with Lenovo I think <laughs> that they uh, <laughs> blocked or freeze on the uh, HDR mode for those of you who are watching the short review 
of this gaming mode on the LX700. Well, watch the full review, guys, if you want to see what happened uh, between Lenovo and uh, ViewSonic and what's the deal with the HDR stocked on the projector all the time. Thank you for watching, guys. See you. Bye.